Today we're going to talk all about diamond painting trays. There's a ton of 3D printed trays on the market. I'm going to share with you a bunch that I have purchased, so the ones in my personal collection, and then I'm going to show you what makes the perfect tray to me, and I'll show you what company I think is the perfect tray maker. So if you love diamond painting and you love di collecting diamond painting accessories, stay tuned to this video and make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post new videos whenever I feel like it, so make sure you hit that notification notification bell as well. Let's get into it. We're just going to start wherever. So we have these two trays, actually three trays, three trays from We Have a Handle on this. I, I, I like the sizes. I like how these two come with a lid, but personally I don't use a lid. Um, the one thing that I did notice with trays from them is that drills get stuck. Like they don't, they line up nicely, but they do get stuck. So if you are a multi-placer, you will find issues um, when you're trying to multi-place through these. Um, so while I really like the depth of this tray, and I think depth is one of the main things to look at when you're buying a tray, uh, like they're very deep. So when you're when you're going like this, shaking the trays and stuff like that, they're they're not gonna drills aren't gonna fall out, etc. But I did find that the ridges uh, were hard to multi place with. So those are three from We Have a Handle on this. Again, a Canadian company. This is a resin tray. I don't remember where it's from. Uh, this tray's okay. Like, I prefer, I prefer trays with like a stopper. So when you're shaking trays or shaking drills, they don't actually fall out. Um, but this one is fine. Like, I like the size of this one. Uh, it's easy to multi-place with. I think you can get you can get resin trays in a bunch of different uh, brands or types from different makers on Etsy. But one thing to note with resin trays is sometimes they will have these little groove like like in the grooves they'll have little breaks in them because the resin didn't sit right or whatever it may be. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but just note that they're not going to be all solid lines. Sometimes you will have little dents in the grooves. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that is an issue. This was a tray I got, I think it was part of Drills and Chills 2023. They were a sponsor. I don't remember who the maker is, sorry. Um, I'll put the information as much as I can down below. I like that this tray came with a stopper. And then I really like that this is really neat. So I, again, I don't use lids, but the lids here are magnetic. So you can see the little magnets in the lid and in the tray itself. So it's really easy and simple. Like if you want to attach the lid to the tray, it's really easy and simple. Like you can... <laughs> you can just throw it on and it will sit correctly. I didn't use this tray a lot because I don't think that it's deep enough. Um, maybe I'm just aggressive when I shake my trays to sort them on the tray itself, but um, yeah, I, I haven't really used this tray a lot. I, I think I ordered, was this the only one I ordered? I don't remember. But yeah, like... But I think like if you aren't an aggressive shaker like me, I think this this tray would be ideal for you. It, I like that it does have a stopper so it would stop drills from um, falling out when you are shaking it. And the stopper again is magnetic, which is very cool. I like the innovation, the innovative magnet use on these. This tray, I don't remember where I got it from. It is from a Canadian seller. I will put all the information and the links in the description box below, though, if you do want to check these out. So this lime green, lime yellow tray does come with a stopper, which I like. It comes with a lid, which is cool, but again, I don't use lids. The one thing that um, I tried to use this tray once, and I was like, this isn't working for me because, again, the depth of this tray, like here, is not very deep at all, so it is uh one centimeter tallish a little bit under one centimeter yeah so it like if you shake your trays around there's lots of room for them to like pop out of the tray itself or if you shake your drills around there's a lot of room for the drills to pop out and things like that so this tray i bought and unfortunately it just sits on my shelf for now in a box these two trays were gifts. I don't know what shop they're from, but they do come as a set, so they stack on top of each other. 
The top one has a lid, but you can also mix it up and put this one on top <laughs> and use the lid for this one. Uh, they do have stoppers, but the stoppers are, I think the more you use them, the easier the stoppers will be to remove. Um, but I do like these trays. I think they line up drills really nicely. And the stoppers are pretty tough. So I like that because it makes them very sturdy. They have finger holes on each side. So when you do go to shake your drills around or uh, line up your drills, you can just hold, easily hold on to the sides. So I think that's really cool to have as a feature on a tray as well. These are two older Bella Art de Nicole trays. Uh, I don't remember. This one was a gift from, I think Shay sent me this. Shay, I think crafting with Shay sent me this um you can see that the lid the lid has kind of warped okay does the lid not work on it anymore <laughs> this has been sitting on my desk for a while now um so yeah I guess the lid has warped over time like this tray is very old but this was their max tray it's very large like compared to like whatever this size is. Um, it's really good if you have a huge section of color blocking. I did like using this tray. Um, again, it comes with a lid that is warped. <laughs> and then this is the smaller version of the tray. I don't know if this is what this size is called, but these are from Bella Art de Nicole. And then to empty out your tray, you would just pour them down like that. And I, I don't mind these this little like hole here to pour out your drills and things like that I don't mind that the only thing is you have to remember to not overfill your tray itself or else drills will just like because you have to to put it like angled downwards drills might fall out the sides of this area here but again I don't think that they make these trays anymore but yeah so Belle Art and Nicole this is a I want to say this is yeah this is a Tiggs tray so Tig's tray was pretty popular like a year or two ago. I, this tray is very dusty. Um, I, I didn't mind using this tray. I think I used it a couple of times, but it just, the size was too small for me. Like it doesn't hold a lot of drills. I'm not sure if they sell larger trays or anything like that, but I did get this one a while ago. Um, I do like that it has like a funnel type design and as if you can see this there's like a ramp to it as well there's like a ramp to this funnel area to where the drills come out of so that is tig's tray i do like this color as well super cute then we have this tray from i don't remember canadian this is a canadian maker i this is one of the first trays i got when i first started diamond painting um I do like this tray a lot, but I I prefer trays that are are like not square, I guess I could say, or more rectangular. Um, and yeah, like this tray was was like served me very well, but again, it's not that deep. It only measures like one mm, twelve millimeters. I don't know, whatever that is in inches. Um, so it's not very deep. This is a cat proof tray. I do have another one of their trays. I think I have a black version of this tray, a smaller version. I don't know where it went though, but on the bottom it says cat proof tray and it's called fine boy. I don't know if that is the name of this. Um, and then catprooftrays.com is where you can get this. I like this lid. Like if my cat never jumps on my desk, I don't know, maybe my desk is just too messy for him. But this lid I think is 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 really cool. Like it's the lid is plastic. Um and I think it 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 would hold and hide hide your tray, hide your drills and not let your cat <laughs> spill them uh, like it would do a really good job of that and then it has that same spout function as the Bella Art de Nicole tray and it also has a little paw here which I think is super cute to be honest I don't use this tray at all <laughs> um I bought it more because I wanted to to own a cat proof tray so <laughs> I gave into peer pressure 
So then we have more, what would we call these, aesthetic trays that aren't super functional. This is a Hello Kitty tray. I forget what the maker's called. I'll look on my Etsy and put it in the description box below. This, I was just like, I wanted this just because I thought it would look cute for like photos and things like that, but it's not very functional. As you can see, her the Hello Kitty bow takes up a lot of the space where your drills actually go. It's not deep at all, so your drills are going to fly over the side if you shake this, shake this in any way in an aggressive way. Um, and it's just like drills can get stuck in her whiskers and things like that. This is more just like an aesthetic, like, hey, let's take some pictures for Instagram tray. And I don't think I actually ended up taking photos for Instagram using this tray at all, but it is super cute. And I don't think it was that expensive. And this tray, I think Debbie, if I'm not mistaken, Debbie sent me this tray. It is a B, Bev B, get it, get it. Um, this is, again, I don't remember who the maker is. I don't remember what shop this is, but again, it's just a really cute, like this would be something like I sometimes will have this on my desk and just like have it as like a display thing because it's more of just a display tray. Again, it's not that functional. Um, it does have a spout here, but again, there's not a lot of drill area here to organize your drills as well as the drills will get stuck along here. But I do think like the sides are the sides are a decent depth as well, but I just think this one is super cute. Again, just more of an aesthetic tray. So this is another tray I have. I don't remember where it's from. I think it did come with a white spout, <laughs> but this is a tray that I used when I first started diamond painting a lot. Like I think this was my main tray for a very long time. I really like the function of this. I like like the little funnel part. Uh, it has a decent amount of room for your drills and the drills line up really nicely. And I just thought like this tray was really great. As I can't find the funnel piece though. I don't know where it went, but this tray was really great. Now let's get into trays that I actually use on a regular basis. So these are Muni made trays. This tray was a gift to me. Um, this was my first Muni made tray ever and I decorated it with alien washi tape. So I just took washi, uh, covered the sides in it, and then I went over it with Mod Podge to like seal the washi down, and I think it turned out great. And then this sticker is is having a time, but there is this sticker that also came in the gift package as well <laughs> that I put on the bottom. Um, but this tray I worked with for a very long time. I really like the size of these trays. I think they're really perfect. Uh, they're both made by MuniMade, and then this is the smaller MuniMade tray as well. I think, I think this tray, these trays have changed since since I have since I bought these. I don't have like a more recent MuniMade tray, but what I really love about these trays is the high sides and the ability, like the, so. There's so much room for you to organize your drills on, especially if you're a multi-placer like me. There's those. And this one, I think I would have used it more if I would have bought a stopper with it. Um, just because, like, it is pretty much half the size of the larger ones. And, like, as you shake it up, the drills will go towards the end here. So if you are looking to buy a Muni-Made tray, I recommend buying a larger one. But, again, I think these trays have changed since I have bought these. Then there's a Canadian Maker Crystal Tray. She no longer makes trays, but for the longest time, I used her trays uh, religiously. So this one came with a lid. I don't know where it went. And I don't think this one came with a lid. Um, but yeah, so this is the earlier, her earlier trays. And this one I used all the time. I really like that it came with a stopper, like all of them come with stoppers. And then this is one of the newer ones. I don't, she no longer makes trays anymore, but I really like these trays a lot. So they come with two stoppers. So here are the two stoppers in case you lose one of them. And as you can see, the inside, you have a lot of room for some of the fill the 3D printing filament is coming out from the lid area. Um, but you have a lot of room to organize your, your drills. Um, this, this is really wide, so drills won't get stuck on them. And that's one of the things that I found 
when working with this tray is this area, the, the funnel opening here wasn't very wide. So if you have static or any issues with your drills, they might get stuck here. But using a tray like this where the opening is really wide, you don't get that issue. So I really like the colors that she offered too. I don't know what happened with her and her drills or her, her trays, like why she stopped making them. I have no idea, but I really liked I really liked her trays. They're really nice. And I think they're they're made really well and very thought out. Um, and so let's move on to what I think is the perfect tray for me right now. So this is the tray that I currently use all the time. I have been using this tray for the past year or ever. I forget when I bought these, but like it's been a I bought these last year, I think, and it's been a very long time, and I have not switched to using any other tray except for this one. This is by Firefly Trays. I have three different sizes from Firefly Trays. This is the one I use all the time. It's called the Ignite, and then this one is called the Ignite XL, so it's just a larger version of this one, and then this one is called the Inferno. So if we take a look at the Ignite, as you can see, there's a spot here for trash drills. I don't actually use this because when you empty out your drills, uh, these are actually the the spot for your trash drills is actually going to to like fall out. So I don't actually put trash drills or anything here, but I think the idea is sound. And what I really like about Firefly trays is there's a built-in funnel. So I don't know if you can see this, but you can see that this opens and closes the funnel so you don't necessarily have to pull out the funnel put it somewhere and like be scared of losing the funnel as well as the sides are very deep so the sides on this one are about one and a half centimeters which is is perfect for me so when i shake those shake those drills the drills aren't going to fall out and it comes with a lid again i don't use the lid um but I tr the color is very cute, and I think these are the most functional trays for me because, I again, I really like the depth of this tray, and I like that the stopper is built in. Like, I really think this is super innovative. I love that the stopper is built in. Like, awesome, awesome idea. And this is the bigger version of it, so again, it has that area for trash drills. I just tend to stick to this one unless I'm doing... A diamond painting that has a lot of color blocking otherwise it's just I'm just using the other one and then this is their inferno um, so with the inferno it actually has like a, a thing for trash drills like built in that you can remove so on the bottom here you can see it says push so you just push that up and you can put your trash drills in here so sorry you can put your trash drills in here push it up empty it out into your garbage can or wherever you do it and then put it back or you can just grab it and put it down um, and then here that's a spot where you put your diamond painting pen so if you're taking a break you're done for the day you can put your diamond painting here I don't actually use this tray like I don't think I've ever used this tray um, but I I really like again it has that funnel feature and I I do like that um, in a like in comparison to the Inferno, um, this trash drill little collector is removable. I think it makes more sense than having it be here and then having to remove the trash with your finger um, because when you're pouring the drills back into the container, this trash drill thing is just going to fall, the, tra the drills are just going to fall out of there. Um, but this one, I think I might use for the next little while and test it out. I'll let you guys know in a future video how it goes. Uh, again, like it's just like I think the Firefly trays are perfect for me because um, the depth again. The so so TLDR. What makes the perfect tray for me and why I think Firefly trays are the perfect tray for me is that they are deep. So again, one and a half centimeters deep. There's the drills line up very nicely. They funnel out very nicely too. Like you can see that there's space on the edge here. So the drills aren't going to get stuck down here. They're just um, driven into like the funnel area. And they have 
the little closure thing like this this function I don't know how people diamond paint without this function like I don't I do not want to deal with little like spout things and things like that and then worrying about losing the spout etc I just think the firefly trays are the perfect tray for me those are all my diamond painting trays minus a couple that are probably randomly lost somewhere in my house but what do you guys think what tray is your go-to tray and why let me know in the comments down below your favorite tray maker uh, if you're new here and you like diamond painting, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos whenever I feel like it, so make sure you hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!